Satisfying dish. Um, I've got a pack of minced turkey that's cost me £2.30. I've got a crust of bread which I'm going to make into breadcrumbs in my little machine here, which is very useful. If you, if you get leftover bread, don't throw it away, whiz it up and make it into breadcrumbs and then freeze them and then. When you need to make something like meatballs, you've got breadcrumbs already made. Very handy. It costs you nothing and it stops you from wasting bread. As always, I have trouble working this because I'm uh, a bit technophobic. <laughs> oh, come on. That's it. There we go. And easy breadcrumbs. If you haven't got a, a full processor, you can leave the bread to dry out, put it in a strong polythene bag, and bash it with a rolling pin. So there's the breadcrumbs. I've got a tablespoonful of oil, cooking oil. I'm going to put in the bowl a small, finely chopped onion. Turkey, I'm going to add in a teaspoonful of tomato puree, a teaspoonful of English mustard, a teaspoonful of half a teaspoonful of salt, and half a teaspoonful of pepper. So the next thing is to Oh, and half a beaten egg. So we need to get these this mixture all blended together. It's a bit of a messy job, but it's worth it. That's fairly well mixed now. So what I'm going to do is take uh, golf ball sized pieces and just roll them in my hand like that. I'll put those on a plate. So I'll continue doing that till the mixture's all made into little meatballs. Now I've got on the stove, I'm going to serve these with rice. So I'm going to um, cook a kilo of rice. I never cook a little bit of rice or pasta. I always cook the whole packet and the rice has cost me £1.50 so we'll have enough rice for today and lots and lots of rice left over that we can freeze for another day. So that's another economical tip. Don't, if you're going to boil a pan of water for 25 minutes you might as well boil a big pan and cook the whole pack. So this is the rice, I've washed it all in a sieve, in batches, because you need to get rid of the dust. This is brown rice, we always have brown rice, it takes a bit longer to cook, 
that it's uh, much tastier I think, more satisfying. So I'm going to bring that back to the simmer and simmer it for 25 minutes. I'll st just stir it once. And then that's it. We'll leave that to simmer for 25 minutes then we'll drain it off. So I'll move that over to the other the other gas ring. So the mixture has made 16 meatballs. So that can be four each for a family of four. So I'm going to just pop these in the pan and we're going to brown them on all sides just for a few minutes just to seal them. Right, the meatballs are all browned off now, so I'm going to pop them into an oven proof dish. And I've got the oven set at 200 centigrade, 400 Fahrenheit, or gas mark 6. And the rice is cooking away nicely. thing we want is some sauce. So I'm going to sprinkle the flour in the pan and give it a stir. The flour will help to thicken the sauce. Tomatoes. And the vegetable stock. So I want this to boil now. Taste the sauce. And this is the point where you decide whether or not to add any more seasoning. So I'm just going to put some pepper. And some salt. Just to season it. Just to add a bit of extra flavour, I'm adding in a, a golden oxo cube, which is a chicken oxo cube, really. So the sauce is boiling away now. So I'm going to pour it over the meatballs. Here, the two big pans on the go. So I'm going 
going to cover this in foil now and pop it in the oven for about 45 minutes. So by this time the meatball should be meltingly tender. The rice is cooked now it's been boiling for 25 minutes. So what we need to do now is rinse it off with boiling water. So what we do put some rice in the sieve like that and then we pour boiling water over it and that separates it all and gets rid of some of the starch and when each sieve full has drained off we're going to pop it in the sieve we're going to do that with all the rice i know it's time consuming but next time you want rice it's going to be already cooked in the freezer so you'll just need to take it out and defrost it so that's what we're going to do with all of this and then i'll show you what we're left with at the end so the rice is all portioned up now so we've got 12 portions ready for the freezer and there's a portion here ready to eat. All we need now is the meatballs. And don't forget the rice was £1.50 and the turkey mince was £2.30 so that's £3.80. So if you count the tomatoes uh, the onion and everything else I think you'll agree that that meal comes in at well below five pounds so I'm going to dish up balls now ready to enjoy really filling satisfying meal very very tasty for less than five pounds that's for four people of course so I think you'll agree that really does look delicious and lots and lots of rice left over for another day so next time you need rice you just take it out of the freezer and Bob's your uncle. Saves you time and money. Bye!